what will make us ascertain who is who is when that document is released. And please, it's not about Atiku Abubakar. It's about the integrity of the seat of the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And this is a cry for all Nigerians. It is sad enough that the president legal team has said he's going to cause him irreparable damage. I keep asking for what irreparable damage for your own results and transcript to be released. If you are a private citizen, nobody cares about your transcript and your result. But now you are a public citizen. You belong to us Nigerians. And we have a right to scrutinize all of your documents. And why are you hiding it? In the space of three days, two appeals against release document. Now you are saying only release the one I uh, limited to the one I submitted to I. No. The whole thing must be in public glare for accountability's sake. Isn't it sad enough that they are reporting the case on American media and we're having certificate discrepancy as regards the office of the president of Nigeria? What is going on? So, President Tinubu, you claimed that you are an A-class student. You are very cerebral. We want to see your glowing academic records in your transcripts. That's all. We've had some schoolmates come out and say that they went to school with you at the same time and all of that. There's even a document circulating that somebody filed and said, oh, under oath, I, I, I was this. Let's see the glowing academic record you claim. You have, pure and simple. Because this is the seat of the office of the Fe President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria here. So when there are people that say they need a document, I think you should be wholeheartedly release it to them. And the whole document, so that they can see everything, not just limited it to some. Because this is getting shocking by the day. This should be a no-brainer. In fact, before now, and this is not about Atiku Abubakar. This is about the integrity of the seat of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. CSU claimed you came there, you graduated from there. So, hey, why is your school documents and credentials a problem? Why are you having two appeals to block them? What's going on? What's in the apple? Okay, two basic things. This is a matter of law. It's not about sentiments or emotions or personal opinion. We're dealing with two different jurisdictions here. And as I've pointed out before, uh, in this uh, particular forum, you know, there are issues between in the law of international civil litigation about forum, about jurisdictions and all of that. I don't need to bore you with the details again this morning. If you look at the U.S. Uh, system, under the U.S. system, you have your right to privacy. Except that right to privacy can only be, you know, breached in the public interest. The U.S. is not in a position, whether it's the district court of the Eastern Division or whatever division, to determine the public interest of Nigeria in this particular case. So what Tinubu's counsel have done is to simply say that, look, he has a right to privacy, which is respected in the U.S. jurisdiction. He has not said don't uh, release the records, but he's saying, look, limit it to the diploma, which is relevant here. Because according to his counsel, what was declared in the INEC form is the diploma. So just restrict it to it. After all, I imagine that what they are saying is that it's not Atiku Abubakar that paid his school fees. So if he paid his own school fees, he is entitled, as a matter of right, to his own academic records. Okay? That's one point that is very clear. But we wait what uh, uh, George Madonado, uh, you know, would decide at the end of the day. The second point here is that Tinobu's counsel are saying that uh, Magistrate uh, Jeffrey Gilbert erred in law by providing you know, uh, given a 48-hour ultimatum that all relevant documents and records should be released. That's the second issue 
before the present court, you know, to determine. Okay? And third, Tinobu's counsel are also questioning the basis for this uh, discovery request uh, or the order of Mandamus requested for discovery for use in a foreign jurisdiction, which is a very important point in international law of civil litigation. And they are saying, look, it's of no moment within the Nigerian jurisdiction because you will recall that the uh, presidential election petition tribunal had ruled that look, uh, Tinubu and his uh, uh, running mate were fit and proper persons, eligible to run, and have been validly elected. So if you go to the uh, Supreme Court, Tinubu's counsel are saying it cannot be used because the Supreme Court is not a court of evidence. You are required to have uh, uploaded, frontloaded your uh, evidence and pleadings at the lower court. So this is the situation, but let us not prejudge what the court uh, will come up with. But what the uh, Tinubu's counsel, what they have done within the province of the law, is, you know, perfectly within their rights to do so. Okay? The critical issue that they have also raised is the point about whether whatever, they even, whatever discovery comes out of this can be used in a court of law in Nigeria. Now, the point, the major point that Don Pedro Obaseki made was that, look, the Supreme Court of Nigeria, if it, it is confronted with, uh, you know, uh, compelling facts, may consider fresh evidence. I have made this same point on this uh, platform, that this will be under exceptional circumstances. And the judgment in that regard is left to the Supreme Court that will consider the weight of the evidence, the relevance of it, and the admissibility. So it's not as if it is automatic. So if their lordships decide that, look, this is irrelevant, then of course, they are not bound by what a court in a foreign jurisdiction tells them. What they will consider will be whether not considering that discovery will amount to a miscarriage of justice. So it's entirely at the discretion of that Japanese court. And that's why I keep saying, nobody should get carried away about all of this. Now, Don Pedro Opaseki is saying, oh, the reason they want to uh, bring this out is because uh, that Bola Chinumbu was a woman. Okay, that's his claim. Nobody has established that. So let us wait for the discovery first before we begin to jump to conclusions. And this is not new. Barack Obama, when he was uh, seeking to be president of the United States, there were issues, similar issues. The Republicans wanted his academic records. He found himself in this same uh, situation. And he said, no, his privacy should be respected. People who did not pay his fees should not come and be asking for his, uh, his uh, uh, academic records. It was the same with President Trump. It was the same thing with uh, President Bush. They have something in the U.S. they call Family Education, Educational Rights and Privacy Act, FEPA. It is under that, you know, that uh, these persons argue that access to a student's records can be limited. If you didn't pay my school fees, don't come and say, bring all the uh, uh, records. So in other words, Tinubu's counsel have not done anything that is extraordinary. What uh, Bush, Trump, and uh, Obama uh, pleaded was that, look, this was uh, uh, opposition people trying to do mischief. And it is precisely the same line that Tinubu's counsel have told. They are saying this is, this is a, a, a busybody a fish, a fishing expedition by opposition people. So within the province of law, these are the issues that will be considered, not sentiments. This is the government of the matter, in my view.